Hey friends, do you ever got a book that super excites you, but the words are tiny or just hard to read? Physical books are cool, but the iPad can make reading way more fun. Today I want to share with you my awesome experience reading on the iPad over 1500 days in the row. Everything you need is just an iPad and a book reading app. I will go with this too, my iPad Pro and Apple Books. And here's why the iPad might be the best book body ever. Imagine this, you can change the way your book looks on the iPad. Make the word bigger, so you don't need glasses. Pick a background color you like. Choose between page or scrolling. And under customized themes, you can go even further. You can change the font style, the line spacing. Plus, the iPad has a high quality retina display that makes reading text very clear and comfortable. All right, reason number two. You can search books like you search on the web. Need a specific part in your book? Just search for it. Or maybe you found something super cool you wanna remember later. Take a picture of that part with the iPad and write a little note, write on it and save it to Apple Notes. Or you can even search your bookmarks or highlights. Reason number three. Split screen mode is like having two brains at the same time. Open the book app on the left side and note app of your choice on the right side. This is perfect for studying or work project. How you can achieve it? You can either click on the three dots up here and enter the split screen mode or just drag and drop the app of your choice to the right, right or left side. Or you can use my shortcut. I put a link in the description. You can with one tap, it's open directly your book and the notes directly what you're writing in. And pro tip, if you use Apple Notes, you can click on the little link icon and it will create directly backlink to the books. So you can click on it and you will directly go back to the book. It's pretty cool. This feature works especially good on the iPad and iPhone. This feature don't work on the Mac. Reason number four, capture key points with ease with Apple Pencil. Underline important parts, draw mind maps, or write notes right on your notes or screenshots, just like a real notebook. This is absolutely my favorite. So if you have a book with a lot of picture or graphics, I like to screenshot it, or sometimes I go crazy and make some mind maps to understand the concepts better, then I save it to Apple Notes. Reason number five, conquer new language with a built-in translation feature. iPad can translate words in different languages. For example, for me, English is not my first language, so I like to translate to German language so I can understand the words better. So no more dictionary needed. It's pretty simple. You highlighted the word and then you tap on translate and it will automatically translate to your language. Or you can go in even further and save it to the translation app to iPad directly and you can review it later. I do it all the time, it's my favorite feature. Or you can even do some look up and then you can search for the web if, if you want to understand in a deeper level. The reason number six, read anywhere at any time. An iPad is like a mini library that goes everywhere. You can read anywhere and anytime, even at night at a special mode like the night shift or night mode, I think I call it's called. It's very good for your eyes. You don't have exposure to the blue light too much. Plus you can carry a lot of books in on this iPad without thinking your back will explode. Another hidden bit of benefit, it will sync across all your devices. Sometimes um, if you don't carry your iPad, you can read on your phone as well. Reason number seven is more my secret weapon. It's more like a secret tip. It's not a directly an iPad feature, but it's rather an Apple Book feature. The app has a cool progress bar and some goal feature that keep me motivated to read every day. And I don't want to miss any day that because I don't want to break my streak. So I read every day in the morning. This helped me a lot to build this strong reading habit. So there you have it. This is just a few reasons why I love to read on the iPad. It is comfortable? Check. Can you customize it? Absolutely. So I'm curious, tell me in the comments below, have you ever tried to reading on the iPad? And what do you think? All right, thank you for your time. 
and see you in the next one.